Thanks for tuning into our video today at our channel on YouTube at HealthyKidneyInc.com. Today we're going to talk about soup and kidney disease. Now I'm from New Jersey, this is where I'm at now, and it is getting cold. It's winter here. And so when it's cold weather, soups are, I love soups. I think they're always a great option. I have them all year, but always a lot more and a lot more consistency during the winter months because it is cold and soups warm you up. But you can have many time of the year. And the reason I really like soups for kidney disease, it's a great way to get in a lot of vegetables in an easier manner to eat. That I feel it's easier, it's quicker. Even people who don't like vegetables, uh, when they add them into a soup, they tend to be easier to eat. And so when I make a soup, I'm gonna give you my, my way of doing it, which takes about a half hour from prep to cook to being finished, depending how fast you cook, but I would say be anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes, depending on what you're making. It could even be less, but that all depends on you. So what I do is I get a pan, okay? Uh, a pan or a bowl, whatever you're using. This is just one that I have. I have some other ones that I use. And I like to get something a little bit bigger. You make whatever is good for you. And then I always get one of these cartons, these chicken broth or vegetable broth cartons that's always low sodium or no sodium. The last one I had was no sodium. This has a little bit of sodium. Whatever supermarket you're going to, you have to check. Uh, this is Trader Joe's. It's close to where I live, a popular chain. So they have this low sodium one. I went to another supermarket chain called ShopRite and I had a no sodium one for the last soup that I use, but less salt, less sodium, always better. That's the one consistent thing throughout kidney disease. If you're not uh, used to having food without salt, then you gradually cut down. Now, this has 50 milligrams of sodium. Okay, that's the Nutrition Facts label where you'll find all that information. And it's 50 milligrams, and that's per serving, which is a cup, and certain four servings per container. So I take this whole thing and I dump the entire thing into the potter pan. All right, so this makes about six to eight servings, the whole thing in. And this is 200 milligrams of sodium per the entire container. So I'm not gonna eat the entire container in one sitting. So that 200 milligrams gets spaced out to about six servings this makes, depending how big your bowl is. So you get your container, you put it in your pot, it's on the stove, it's heating. Uh, that's, and then you would put all your cut up vegetables in. If sometimes if I wanna get fancy and I have a little bit of time, what I'll do is I can saute the vegetables just quickly. I'll put a little bit of oil in the pan. You cut up whatever vegetables you're using. So I don't have to worry about potassium, so I use a, a variety. But I do always try to use more kidney-friendly vegetables, things like cabbage, cauliflower, I'll use a little bit of carrots, um, celery stalks. Uh, some of them are borderline kidney-friendly, but like I said, I don't have to worry about my potassium. You use whatever is good for you. Uh, you can also put in onions, great addition, garlic, you know, you can put in whatever vegetables you like, whatever type of soup that you like. And if you're, like I said, if you're looking more for those kidney friendly vegetables, lots of lists out there. We have them all over our website, other videos. Uh, if you're worried about potassium, if you're not near the outer range, if you're in the normal range, shouldn't be an issue with whatever vegetables you use. If you're in that high to being out of range, you should use more kidney friendly vegetables or maybe none at all. But the good thing with a soup is that you are leaching the vegetables, so they're cooking in the broth and some potassium is actually coming out into that broth. And as long as you don't drink that broth, if you're worried about your potassium, you tend to be able to have more variety and you can have some more servings, uh, and some more soup and more vegetables in your diet. So. That's when it comes to the soup potassium. So you cut up all your vegetables, you put it in there, okay? You have your full container of your liquid, and then you use your spices. So I use always no salt spices, okay? I have a variety. I'm gonna go through some here. Um, this is just basic black pepper, a plain parsley. I find that the combination spices just make cooking so much faster and easier. So this is Miss Dash, they have the chicken, uh, Miss Dash is a line of no soil products. There's a ton of them out there. There's lots and lots and lots of them. So feel free to explore it. Uh, this is Stone Mill. I never used this one before, but they have a line of salt-free seasoning blends. Um, someone in my family picked this up. So we have that. So you just add them in there. Let that soup cook for about half hour, 40 minutes. You might you want to go in and check it. Maybe check it in about 20 minutes, half hour, depending how big your flame is. You decide how uh, tender you want those vegetables. Now, how you would decide that 
is after you cut up everything, you put it in the soup, about the 20 minute, half hour, 45 minute point, you get a fork and just go over and push it through some of those vegetables and you'll see how, how easy it is to go through or how difficult it is. So cauliflower, you know, I tend to like it to go in pretty easy. Uh, so I know when it's going in pretty easy and smooth in a soup, it's okay, but you can leave it on the more crunchier side if you like. It all depends on your cook time. And so then you can have that as your vegetable serving, a part of your meal, any time of the day. And the reason that vegetables are so good, as I talk about in other videos, is that's actually like a recommendation, a prescription. If you're not going to do much else, just eat more vegetables in your kidney diet because they're going to alkalize you. And it's really important when it comes to kidney health. So soups, great thing, easy to incorporate, quick to make, an easier way to get a lot of vegetables. So check out other videos. If you have any soup recipes, send them over. We'll put some up on our blog at healthykidneyinc.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.